protest of eclectic tastes outside uh, and an equally diverse mix of political adversaries inside this Columbus school today where Governor Kasich signed House Bill 167. There is an element of distrust. Okay, that's fine. But it's a new day when it comes to education in Columbus. The mayor will be the enforcer. And I'll be, I'll be right next to him. And we hope that the city council and the school board will be right there, and I believe they will be. And to the moms and the dads, uh, we need to make sure we carry out the promises. Because we got to ask the people to have trust again. So House Bill 167 addresses three out of the 55 recommendations from the Columbus Education Commission. It authorizes our voters to create an independent auditor to root out waste, fraud and abuse, to bring sound management to the district finances and to prevent wrongdoing and to re restore trust in this community. It also authorizes our voters to allocate a share of their local tax revenue for Columbus students attending high performing public community school schools so that we can attract good schools to those neighborhoods where there are none while leveraging additional private sector dollars into those schools for the same purpose. And finally, to authorize the city to sponsor high-performing community schools to give us a choice and a voice of quality schools to educate our kids. Is it the 15th? Everybody out there that's all steamed up, calm down. Columbus schools are on the move. Calm down. Hard for me to count the number of ways that I'm opposed to the number of policies that Kasich and the Ohio GOP have passed. None of the elements of this bill are going to directly solve or address uh, the problems the district has been having. And it seems clear to a lot of us parents that um, those problems are just providing a convenient cover for what amounts to a partial takeover of the schools. But it seems to me it's it's not even a band-aid. It's uh, it it seems to be transferring power out of the hands of um, you know the the parents, teachers, uh, you name it, and creating almost like a parallel uh, structure uh, to run our schools.